This is a Huawei P8, the Chinese manufacturer's brand new flagship smartphone. We're going to take a look at some of its key features. The P8 uses an optical 64-bit processor, and yeah, that just means it's quick. But what's really interesting is that when it comes to battery life, the processor can actually use different parts of itself depending on the app you're using. So say you're using something that's quite low on processor demands, we'll actually switch off some of the processor and therefore save the battery. Of course, that's something we'll check for ourselves once we get the phone into our test lab. The PA also has a 13 megapixel camera, which should mean it produces bright, sharp pictures and lifelike colors. Photographers will be interested to hear it has optical image stabilization, which means that in low light especially, you should get an image with less blurring than you'd otherwise expect. And it also takes things like a group selfie mode, which if you have enough friends, should be able to combine the three images together to one picture to fit them all in. What's also interesting to note is that Huawei have managed to include a lot of features that many other manufacturers just don't include these days. For example, there's a slot for an optional micro SD card so you can expand the storage space. And that same slot can also be used to fit an extra SIM card. So if you go abroad regularly on holiday or for work, you will be able to flip between your two SIM cards depending on the best one for, to save you on data roaming. I think what's most striking about the P8 is kind of how it looks. It looks exactly like an iPhone 6, which is a compliment and a curse at the same time, really. So like even down to the fine details on the side on its side profile, it's strange, really, because you're looking at it and you're thinking it's, it's an iPhone, but it's not. It's, it's a premium Android flagship phone. The P8 has a 5.2 inch screen and it's just 6.4 millimeters thick, or should that be thin when it comes to its profile? It's made from aluminium, so it's very light in the hand, and it's pretty much the first Huawei phone to look truly premium. The interesting thing will be to see when we get it back to our lab, just how it compares to the likes of a, an iPhone 6 or even a Samsung Galaxy S6. Because for 499 euros, around 360 pounds, that's a markedly different price tag. And it could just be that this is the Huawei phone to finally give Samsung and Apple and the other major manufacturers a run for their money. Click the links below for more on this, the iPhone 6 and the Samsung Galaxy S6.